Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If you're a return viewer, appreciate the view time. If you tap that subscribe button and uh, hit a like and uh, leave a comment, I really appreciate it. And if you're a return viewer and subscriber, uh, these comments these last few uh, days and weeks have been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't have a lot of time today, and I do want to get to the stuff that I promised. Uh, I will get to finishing that scroll work here pretty soon. I do apologize for the delay, uh, but I'll have some time later this week. Let's go ahead and get going on this thing here. Uh, I'm going to just grab a gem, uh, and then uh, we'll go ahead and manipulate it just a little. So I will grab the size, and I'll take it down to 2.5, so a 5-pointer, right? And then hit Enter. And now I'll just click on it, and I'll go to my uh, gem offset. And I will just pop it in one, and then click Enter. And then I'll right-click, bring it back, and then hit Enter again. So I have two of them out there, right? And I will take it out to a uh, 4. Uh, so we have about a half millimeter there, and I'll just hit enter. Uh, I'll go ahead and hide my gemstone at this point. No need for it to be out there right now. Uh, so I'll click on the curves. I'll just grab a line curve, and we'll switch to red. And I will click on uh, C4 or F4, so get it in our center there. Hold down shift so it locks it in to 45 degrees, right? And just click enter. Uh, and then I'll take that curve and I will go to transform because it's quick and then hit there and go over X and multi and hit enter. So I have all four curves out there, right? And now what I'll do is I'll take all my yellow and I will split it with my red, right? And then hit enter. And those should all split. Now, here's something that you may or may not know. Uh, sometimes this uh, happens. Uh, if I go ahead and I, I want to, I want to split my red. So I'm going to take my red and I want to split it with my yellow, right? So I'll left click on my yellow and then I'll hit enter. Uh, these do not split because they were married uh, parametric, right? You'll have to ungroup them. Right, and then you can go in and delete uh, those items there like that. And we'll just select all that in the center there and we'll delete that. I just want this right here. And I'll take all that and I will just go ahead and group that together, right? So now we have that there, right? So if you wonder why those don't split, uh, just ungroup them and uh, you'll be fine. Uh, and you can click them and get rid of them. Uh, so right here we have this. I don't want those sharp corners. I want a little curve on there. So I want a little uh, not so uh, abrasive to the wearer or whoever she smacks. <laughs> so uh, let's go and grab a, a, a clean up here. And we'll just go here. And since they're all joined, we'll just go to the second one, Flay Corners. And I will select those two and then hit enter. And a point two is good. So we'll just go ahead and take that. So it rounds them off, right? Uh, and then I will go ahead and bring back my stone at this point. And right here, I just want to go ahead and select those two curves. And I want to drag them because we're going to make a little bezel type thing going on, right? So uh, I'll select those. And then I will just go ahead keep them selected of course and then hold down alt and drag them down a little bit something like that give it a, a little room there at the bottom uh, we got maybe uh, almost two millimeters we can probably drag them down a little bit more so uh, just kind of drag it down a little bit more it's no however deep you want it you can always alter this later if you wanted to uh, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to click on my gumball there. I'm going to type in a negative 0.25 and hit enter. And I'm going to take this one and click on my gumball again. Except this time I'm just going to type in 2.5. So it's a positive, right? And so that 2.5. No, 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 no. Undo that. Uh, type in a 0.25. Sorry. And hit enter. So we have that. And now I'm going to go to my surface and with uh, the 2.4 uh, upgrade, we have the parametric loft, right? So I'm going to go in here, and I am going to hit my parametric loft and select this one and this one here, and we'll change it to a green layer and hit enter, and it puts out yellow because it puts out yellow. <laughs> and I'll right-click, bring it back, and click on these two, and then hit enter. Oh, 
we have select points to loft this one this one enter and we'll hit uh enter there too now we'll just take those since uh they're being finicky and i'll just go ahead and switch them to green all right and now i can take those two and i can go up here and do a cap and we should have those closed off right now you can do a dome if you wanted to or whatever uh it's totally up to you of course uh so we have this i'm going to go ahead and take my yellow and because we don't really need it anymore so i'm going to left click on my well first i have to enter there i'm going to go ahead and click on my yellow there and turn it to gray and hide it that's a pretty cool looking green there uh did it hide mine oh hide okay all right so i'll select my gemstone and then i will go to my settings and the under bezel so we have an under bezel out there and the height's not so bad uh we'll go ahead and drop it down just a little and we'll drag that up so it kind of goes right into our bottom there and we'll go ahead and hide that gemstone so we can kind of look inside and there it's uh, kind of jacked up a little bit we don't need it so uh small in there and we're going to make that to a bit maybe around a 0.5 and we'll go ahead and drag this out to about the same pretty close something like that and you can you know change that however you want no big deal uh, and we'll just go ahead and say we'll pull our stone back out there take a look and we'll say that's what we want right yeah let's select our stone it's kind of bold out right there our bezel under bezel and let's uh, kind of grab that uh, angle and we'll just kind of bump it in something like this give us a little bit better look and we could actually offset that just a little too yeah there we go and you could offset it as far as you wanted, really. Uh, but we'll do something like that. It's still touching our stones, or our rails, rather, and we'll hit enter. And now at this point, we'll bully, go ahead and boolean all this together. So go to our solids, a boolean union. Uh, we'll select this surface, enter with this surface and this surface, and hit enter. And we have this item here. We'll go ahead, nothing doubled? You're kidding me. Cool. All right, so we have that. <laughs> uh, now we'll just go ahead and grab a uh, tools, go to our tools and grab a ring rail, right? We'll just keep it at size seven. We'll hit enter. And now I'm going to select my rail and go back to my curves menu and we'll do a parametric offset. And mm, we'll take it to maybe, uh, it doesn't matter because we can adjust this later. We'll take it to 1.9 for right now and hit enter. And we'll select that rail. We'll go to our gems and we'll go to a gems on ring rail. And we'll find that start position, kind of drag it over here drag that up something like that and right now it doesn't matter so much i'll hold down my shift key and bump it out to 2.5 so it's the same size as my stone here and we'll give it a little bit more spacing because we're going to need the spacing uh for the uh rails right uh and i'll go to my front view here and i want that's a seven count it's pretty close let's see can't believe i got it that close first right off Let's take that there. Let's take this so that our girdle or our culet is kind of right in the middle there. We'll find out how close we are uh, together in a little bit. And you'll see what I mean here in a little bit. So we'll just go ahead and take that. <clears throat> Okay, so we we have our gemstones out. We have a little spacing in between. Let's see how it lines up. We can always readjust it. That's the... Uh, fabulous thing about uh, matrix gold uh so we'll just go up here and we'll go to uh orient to gem right and we'll select our base gem that'll be this one down here and select our objects to orient that'll be this item here and we'll go ahead and hit enter select our target gems that'll be these up here on our rail and then we'll hit enter and we have a little bit of spacing problem here so uh, that's no big deal because we have matrix gold and we'll just go ahead and enter and we'll select those gems go to our edit and we will uh, bump this one in a little bit we'll go to our front view because uh, i want that stone kind of trying to stay as close to the center bump that one up a little move this one in a little keep that one in the center as close as possible and we have a nice little overlap there that's uh decent so we'll just go ahead and uh 
we'll take this and we'll find out uh, in a second whether it's going to be okay or not uh so now uh let's go to our per perspective here view and we'll select our ring rail actually we can uh, we'll keep that out there uh select our ring rail we'll go to our tools and we will slap a profile on there and we'll bring that profile down to around this area here it doesn't matter where at this point uh we'll go ahead and we'll select a different profile give it a different look you can do all different kinds of profiles here anything you want uh, and we'll select something like this here and we'll go ahead and select and close that out and i am going to go ahead and i'm going to snap it to this rail here all right and let's see what we got here uh, let's bring that in something like that and let's go ahead and bump that up so it disappears now we're going to find out how close we are as far as a straightness here because all we have to do is hit mirror and there you go it's it's hidden too so we're, we're probably pretty pretty close as far as uh straightness there otherwise we'd have a gap or something or it'd be way in and it looks like it's pretty close to the exact same spot so uh we'll just go ahead and uh hold down shift and we'll snap another one because you know me uh if you've been watching my videos i kind of like this one to be out a little bit uh, more than the others kind of flared out i just like the look uh and we'll hit enter and i'm just going to go ahead and hide this one at this point for right now uh and we'll go ahead and do a surface uh, two Wait for the command, select the rail, select this one, select this one, and go in here and turn on our wire. It's probably better. Select that profile, this profile, and that profile, and hit enter. And let's see what we've got here. Yeah, see, I, I just kind of like the way that looks. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hide our gemstones for a second. We'll take a look. We got a little bulge there. We can bump that back, and it should take care of it on both sides, which it did. Uh, and it looks like it's lined up pretty good. Now you could do a little cutout, put some design in here, whatever you want. Uh, and we'll bring back those gemstones and we'll just say this is good and hit enter. All right. Now we need to kind of get everything together, right? Yeah, cool. All right. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's ungroup these right here. Okay, and we'll go back to our solids and we'll do a Boolean union. We'll select this one, enter with this one and this one as our second surfaces and hit enter and those join together. I'll right click, bring back the Boolean, uh, go click on those, hit enter and click on this one and this one and hit enter. And so far so good, enter, right click, bring it back, click on that, enter this one and this one and hit enter and we're good so far right click bring it back one more time here and here and enter give it a second oh i didn't went too fast so right click this one here enter this one here enter and enter okay and i'll take that hide it real quick and no duplicates so we're good to go take that don't need it hide it uh and uh right now we're, we're pretty good so i'll take all that uh, yellow now and i'll just turn it to gray and uh pretty much done really uh everything's joined together it says very a closed poly surface uh so you're pretty much good to go at this point uh and you have a nice little uh, channel uh band kind of looks kind of has a little x going on there uh, so you could sell it as an XO, hugs and kisses type, <laughs> if you wanted to, I guess. Uh, and uh, you could also, uh, you don't have to, you can just go to your tools, go to your tech report, and it will lay everything out. It's a 0 0.41 total weight, uh, 1.67 penny weight, so nice lightweight. Uh, do a sapphire band, ruby band, emerald band, you know, a stackable type thing if you wanted to. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so hopefully the video helps. And it, uh, if it did, please hit subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, good designing.